In this video, we are going to install Silver Holders Dynamic Hood LED Strip Multi-Color Changing. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Greg and in this channel, I create product reviews, mods, install guides of cool car accessories and gadgets. This LED strip is 71 inches long, made of high quality silicone. It is IP68 waterproof. It has strong adhesive on both sides to make installation easy. The LEDs are 3014 SMD. This particular model is app controlled by Bluetooth in which you can use to customize the color to match your vehicle. So I am going to install this in a 2010 Toyota Prius. We're gonna run it on the hood right along the edge of the hood. First, what you want to do is you want to clean the edges. Use uh, rubbing alcohol, that way you can get also the grease out for better adhesion. This here is what I use. Now I'm going to go ahead and locate my fuse box. This is my fuse box. This is where I'm going to get my power source. So I want the wiring to end up this way instead of the other side of the hood. Now once this is clean, you want to go ahead and uh, stick your adhesive. Make sure that the clear part where the LEDs face out is facing outside the hood. Okay. I already predetermined my center point. Next, we're going to go ahead and go into our fuse box and locate the accessory fuse. This way, when I turn on the engine, the light turns on. When I turn off the engine, the light turns off and it doesn't suck up too much of the battery. So first thing I want to do is find my ACC fuse or my ignition fuse, which on this diagram here says it's this one right here. So for me to confirm, I'm going to go ahead and get my voltmeter. I'm going to go ahead and ground this in. Grounded it, I grounded it to a bolt. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm. This fuse here does not have any power going through it when the engine is off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the engine. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and check to see if it has power. And yes, it does. So this is the fuse that I want to tap into. So now I'm going to get my fuse puller and go ahead and pull that fuse out. And we're going to go ahead and use a piggyback fuse to tap into that fuse. We're going to go ahead and um, push this fuse in. So there we have our old fuse. And then this is our new fuse for our new line. And then we're just gonna place it into the old spot. Just like that. And at the end of this is where you're gonna go ahead and tap your red wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, splice this and then crimp it into here. Open this up and this black wire is going to go into a ground. I'm going to go ahead and use an unpainted bolt. Okay, so here's the wire tap. I connected this to the red. And this one here is an extension. I use a heat shrink. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this to my ground. This is my ground wire. I'm going to go ahead and tape this up so there's no opening. Okay. Now that I have my red wire connected to my Ignition fuse and then my ground wire. I went ahead and grounded it to a bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Zip tie this So we have some clean wiring and it doesn't get stuck anywhere and then tuck in the rest in here So here's how it looks Nice and clean we're gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks at night
If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.